Welcome and let's get started with getting your back healthy and strong with a few gentle exercises you can do morning, noon, and night. All right, you know it, we're going down onto the floor. So keep a little towel, blanket, or pillow close by. And then you're gonna transfer down onto your back. Today's session is supposed to be easy, no pain. You've talked to your doctor, you're approved to exercise. If anything hurts, you gotta back off. All right, you can roll back, come onto your side, and lay down. So I'm gonna give you a second to fidget. Good, if you needed something, that's why I said to have it already down here, because then you can just grab it. You don't have to climb back up to the couch. Walk your heels towards your butt. Take a deep breath in. Exhale it out. One more inhale. Exhale. Turn your palms up to the ceiling. Wiggle your fingers. And then turn your palms back down. We're gonna start today's healthy back with bridge work, but we are not gonna go all the way up to the highest position. What I want you to do is control your bridge and only lift the tailbone and that waistband, the low back off the mat. I do not want you to go all the way up to shoulder blades, so you're gonna to have to control yourself. I know you can do this. All right, feet are in good position. Take a breath in. Tuck the butt under, squeeze your buns, push the heels into the floor, and a small lift. Now, hold, two, three, four. Look and make sure your knees are separated, and lower down. Wiggle the toes, relax the thighs. Very important that we're not clinching. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and lift. Smaller, lower down, maybe you went too high. And we're holding. Two, three, four, five, six. Lower down and relax. Inhale, tuck the tailbone under, push through the heel of the shoe and small lift. We hold. Two, three, four, five, six, and release. Relax, breathe in, lift up, exhale and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, and release. If it's hurting, we're halfway, you have to back off, don't barely lift. Tuck the tailbone under, feel your low back, push down into the mat, small lift, squeeze the butt. Three, four, five, six, and release. Do you need to stretch? Do you need to wiggle? All right, three more. Press, small lift, push those knees forward, separate those legs, and release. Two more. Tuck under, squeeze through the glutes. I know you're trying, lift, hold. Two, three, four, come on, and release. One more, right? Separate the knees. If they tend to fall in, open them up. Last one, your best one. Tailbone rolls under, push through the heel. Your knees shoot forward and it's a small lift. Look how strong you are, yeah. I don't wanna to feel too much stretch on the top of the thighs. And release, good job. Sometimes I like to straighten out one leg, oh, or the other leg. That feels nice, right? You worked the back of that leg and you really started getting some of those muscles. Remember my goal for you is to not have to use a back brace. I want where that back brace is for those muscles to develop a little more strength so that you don't feel like you need help, that your muscles are gonna do it for you, but you gotta put the work in. All right, moving on, feet together, arms off to the side. We're gonna stack one leg on top of the other as we rotate to the side. I'm gonna to go to the left. Try to keep your shoulder blades on the ground, but you can let your feet come up a little bit. Stack that top leg on top of the bottom leg. Now, don't just rush out of it. 
Pull the stomach muscles in as you come back into center. Feet flat on the ground. Make sure you have shoulder blades on the mat, hips on the mat. Your head feels good. Now we're going to tip to the other side. Lift that foot so that it stacks on top of the other foot. And we hold. Breathe in. And out. Come back to center. That's two. It's like a little windshield wiper, isn't it? Swish the knees to the other side. Try to keep that opposite shoulder blade down. And then back to center. So everyone, are you feeling more pain? It should not hurt more. I know, right? Like around and through here, I would like. Like take your hand and sort of say, oh yeah, not too much around the shoulder because that can feel a little awkward. Come to center. Swish the other way. Do you have a side? <coughs> that feels better than the other one. And back to center. Now, let's do a few more all together. Here we go. Let both knees tip to one side. See if you can just look away from those knees. Breathe in. Exhale. Come back in. Feel both feet flat on the ground because everyone, we're not rushing. Flip to the other side. Last one. Compare your right and your left. Good. Breathe. We're just trying to get some of that space between those vertebrae. Okay? And that was it. You're so good. Yay! Bring the hands down. Separate your feet a little bit. Wiggle those toes. Let's just stretch through the upper back and the shoulders. Reach both arms up to the ceiling. Wiggle those fingers. Reach them over the head and then drag them back down at your side. Three more times, inhale and lift. Don't force them, but do keep good form, meaning straight elbows. Even if you can't find the floor, that's fine. We're just getting fluid and movement around the shoulders should feel really good. Inhale and exhale. One more on your own. Good, and release. All right, bring your feet together and like a butterfly, open both knees just, just to check before we go on to our stomach and do some other exercises. Good. And then close them up. All right, now we get to transfer. And when we have a little bit of back pain or things aren't feeling comfortable, I know it's hard to move around. So rock the knees a little bit because when you roll onto your side, you need to have some, some fluidity. And otherwise, we're going to feel really stiff. So pick which side, if you're going to roll to the right or the left, and then make a transfer onto your tummy. And I know we don't sleep on our tummies a lot anymore, so give yourself a second, wiggle around a little bit. And now we're going to do two exercises on your tummy. So the first one we're going to do is heel to butt. So drag your hands down by your chest and just gently look down. Or if you need that little pillow or towel to put your forehead on, go ahead. Bring the right heel in towards your bottom and then lower it down and then the left heel in and release. And we're going to alternate that slowly. Pull in because sometimes, class, you're going to feel a stretch up above that knee. Alternate in. That's four and release. Right leg or your other leg in and down and this is five good and release do you have some tightness on the top of that thigh above that knee no cramping in the back of the leg because it can happen last one good and then let's wiggle push the hips a little side to side right lift that tailbone up because remember you want a loose body the whole point of doing this is to let you feel better not stiff all right next exercise head is forward drag your hands down by your chest tuck your elbows in and lift the head the chest and soften the belly just let the stomach release hold and then lower back down how'd you do up there pretty good was it horrible okay can we go again we could go again all right ready small the head lifts the chest lifts i push 
my forearms down into the ground. I push my palms and I reach my heart forward and then lower down. Relax and lift. Two, three, four. Hold and then lower. If I'm hurting the shoulder, maybe open the arms up a little bit. Try not to hurt that shoulder. Let's go again. Lifting the head, lifting the chest, pushing in with the forearms. Stomach is relaxed. Hold. Two, three, four. So think about all the things you do during the day where you're hunched forward. If you're a golfer, if you like to work in a wood shop, if you're at a desk, lift up. So we have to find time during the day to lengthen a little bit. Not forcing, okay, and down. All right, can we do two more? It's okay if you can't get through all of them. Lengthen and lift. Hold. Two, three, four, and down. I know it's hard to always see me on your screen, so feel your body. Lift the head. Lift the chest. Push into that floor, and then bring your heart up a little bit more. Lift your chin just a little. Hold and release. Good work. Wiggle a little bit. And then the best news is we get to transfer up to our knees. So how are you going to get from your tummy onto your back or up to sitting? So again, you've got to roll, right? Roll onto that side. Bring those legs in and then press up. So you get huge credit for that because that is not easy. And I'll give you a second to get, to get up, okay? Good job. We're almost there. All right, can you get to your knees? If you need your blanket to put under those knees or an extra mat, take it. All right, hand and knees, two more exercises and we are good to go. Separate your hands, pull your stomach muscles up and in, breathe, of course, and brace your core because everything we're doing is your powerhouse, your trunk. Take your right leg, send it back behind you, barely lift it off the floor as you pull your stomach muscles in, tap your toe back on the floor, and bring your knee in. Left leg, send it back. Touch the floor, lift, small lift. Hold, two, three, four. Bring your knee back in. Push the right leg out. Lift the foot off the floor, hold. Two, three, four, and in. Change sides. If it's too much in the wrist, you've gotta lean back just a little bit or take a break. Change legs, small lift. We're not looking to lift high. Good, and lower. Everything we're doing today is a smaller range. Can you control that leg, lift it? Bring it in. So let's do technique. Pull the stomach muscles up because I know they're gonna wanna soften. So no, no rounding, no arching the back. Just a nice neutral back. Send that left leg. I should be able to eat a salad right off your back, my plate. It's not gonna fall, bring your leg in. One more, right leg pushes back, so good for your hip. And then that lift is low back, glutes, beautiful. If you knew how much your body loved this, you'd be like, why haven't I been doing this? Lift and lower, perfect. Sometimes we like to stretch back or wiggle a little bit, shake those wrists off. All right, focus up, last one. Four knee lifts like a dog at the fire hydrant. Take that right knee, lift it up to the side, bring it back in, lift it up. How are those hips of yours? Are they tight? Are they heavy? Does it feel good? Good, all right, four on the other side. Are we ready? Lift one and down. Up two and down. Now breathe, three and down. One more, four, and down. Wiggle the wrists, shake them out. I know I'm asking a lot. And this is such a good strong core pose right here. Abs up and in, head in line with your spine, right side knee lifts, four, and release. Focus up, lift. Yeah, there you go. Getting in and out of the car. Those hips have to be strong. Good walking. You don't want anything to hurt when you're sitting up and down. Last one. 
Left side, abs pulled up and in. Don't let your belly soften to the floor. All right, lift. Pretend I'm with you and my hand goes right under your stomach muscles. Pull them up. Three, best one, four, and release. Now, climb yourself up onto your knees. Get your head above your heart. Hello, everybody. Look at us. That was awesome. Now, as you sit here on your knees, push those hips forward. And if you're not facing me or your phone's somewhere else, feel the pull some of us have up the top of our thighs. And if you don't feel it, let me know. Are you leaning forward? So everybody, lift, shoulder over hip, push the hips forward, lift the heart, and think, this is great. Small, small, small exercises today. We didn't go full range of anything because we want to keep you neutral. Some of us live too extreme and that's why we have such problems in our back. All right, let's come up to standing together. If you need a little piece of furniture, use it to come up. Otherwise, peel yourself up. Let's see a nice standing pose together so we can finish. So about 15, 16 minutes is what it'll take. Wiggle, loose, shake out. Breathe, and then when you leave, pull those stomach muscles up, lift here, okay? That little exercise we did at the end where we push back is because we're too much like this during the day. So if you think this is good posture, new, 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 up, 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 and that's gonna help that back. You know, don't over arch, but keep up the good work at least once a day, okay? Do it for like four, six weeks, and then add it a second time of the day. I'm so proud of you. Keep up the good work. Thanks for working out with me.